top 10 catches on my channel right here is number 10 spinnerbait muddy water pre-spawn this was february when i first found that pond i fish at all the time you'll see a few fish come out of this pond on this countdown my top 10 catches on this channel there's that quantum burner i hate that reel i had so many problems out of it but that's besides the point this fish was possibly on a nest but probably not it was the end of february this is february 26th this year I actually caught a four pounder that day too this fish was 4.59 pounds that was a good size fish real pale because of the water you can see it's really stained the water actually clears up in the summertime when the grass the hydrilla start growing a little bit in there but in the winter time even right now it's back to super muddy so that fish was decent size it wasn't that big actually it's not even a top 10 of the size fish i've caught there's a few on here i just had terrible video quality i didn't want to put on here so i went ahead and put this one on 5.59 on the spinnerbait that's the biggest fish on the spinnerbait this year for sure and here's number nine same pond but this is october crankbait this is a about the same size fish a little bit bigger so on the spro md probably my favorite crankbait this probably kicked off me using crankbaits you'll see on the countdown a few fish from the crankbaits this was in october a few months ago this was one of the first bigger fish i ended up catching a few big fish near the end of the year summer was was not good for me on big fish usually i catch a few early morning topwater big ones but not this year definitely was better spring fall year i mean i always catch big ones in the spring but this fish put up a good fight of course and you know when it's water's real warm fish fight really hard see right here he's a decent sized fish he was 5.1 real skinny he's a real skinny guy it's 20 right at 22 inches he was like 21 and five eighths i believe i can't remember exactly but it's on the original video this is a good size fish he's real skinny put up a good fight crankbait and that was probably one of the first big fish i've ever caught a crankbait definitely i believe and that got me into using crankbaits i'm definitely going to be a crankbait fisherman next year after i've caught some few big ones on it you'll see it in the countdown and here is number eight this pond only has a i usually get skunked every time i come here this this was the summer of 2016 this is when i first had a channel you can see with the widescreen i had no idea how to edit video quality looks terrible see uh swimming on a on a cinco a swimming cinco actually video cameras all over the place i don't know what i'm doing this fish buried itself up in some trees that he was hanging around had to pull him out luckily i had on this rock reel back then in 2016 it had at 20 pound mono and it's really good at pulling through the trees actually i definitely would go to braid now i didn't know as much back then i mean i just was too cheap to buy braid definitely go with some power pro definitely 50 or 60 65 pound braid if you're gonna flip but that mono's got a lot of stretch it's not good on the hook set but it'll give you a little bit of stretch when you're in those trees and it would just rip through some trees i pulled a lot of fish out with that still would recommend braid especially in grass or wood just not rocks this fish put up a fight this was in the summertime so you know they're going to fight hard when the water temperature's warm see that's a good fish he's pretty skinny that pond is so fish so much there's barely any fish in there but there's a few big ones there's a lot of people that fish at this pond see on that little swimming dinger actually it's a yum dinger swimming the swimming dinger with a little paddle tail on it you can see those fish they look like florida bass there the water's so tannic and black it's kind of clear but there's so many leaves in the water and trees this makes the water kind of tannic color but those fish look awesome beautiful colors on them i can still fish that pond and here's number seven same thing this, this was a regular cinco though pulling him through the trees this is also the summer of actually yeah summer of 2016 it's a little bit bigger fish just breaking through tree branches I wish I could pond. That was the Lowe's pond behind Lowe's, and somebody else used to own it, but they actually sold it. Now I can't fish there anymore. I, mi I really miss fishing that pond. It was full of cover. You can see the trees, the drilla, willow trees, some stumps in there. I miss that pond. That was the only pond I really could catch fish on a holiday frog real good. It's a good sized fish right here, 5.9 pounds, buried in that tree. And this pond actually had gizzard chat in it. I really miss that pond. I bet you're some huge fish in there now. Nobody's allowed to fish there. There you go, swimming off. And here's number six. Same pond. This is a 
few months before, I believe. So it's like post spawn. This is a big fish. Hit the big buzz bait. Huge strike. But back then, I only had one GoPro battery. And I would just wait till I had a fish on, then turn the camera on, which was terrible video, video quality, as you can see. But this, fish, this fish buried itself in a hydrilla. He's right side of a stump, and he hit it, of course. Nice fish. I was super pumped. Got him. I caught that. That was like oh the first God. big fish I saw on this channel, I believe. Look at that. 2016, Ooh. yep. And that was a nice fish. He was a 6.2 pounder. God, that is a fish. Super pumped fish on any yes. big fish on top water. That's my main way to catch. I, I like flipping pretty good. I've caught some big fish doing that, but top waters is my favorite way to catch big fish, and that's usually how you're going to catch a big fish around here. You can swim baits, and that's all specialty type fishing, but. You can definitely catch them flipping too, but top waters is the way to go. Okay. This is to be continued. Get ready for the one through five. This is a six through ten. Wait for the next video. Some big fish on there. Stay tuned.